Last Saturday, Daytona, I was just, you know, all over the place in that race, but I ran a really, really good race. I enjoyed the race, you know. Like I said, I was all over the place, and I did make a lot of contact with people, but you know what? It was still a good race. I enjoyed it, so it wasn't too bad. I won stage two, which isn't too bad. I was too aggressive in stage two. I honestly didn't deserve that stage win, but a stage win is a stage win, so I'll definitely take it. And then, of course, I had to do some battling at the end to try to get the win. I had to hold off um, Josh Berlicki and Joey Gase to try to get my first win of the season. And I successfully did that. And I got myself into victory lane. So, good way to start the season. But now, we go on to see what happens at the Daytona Road Course. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Robert, a.k.a. RJ. And welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 2021 Custom Season. Uh, right now, about to do race 2 of 36 in the NASCAR Cup Series. I'm going to the Daytona Road Course. Yes, I know it's Canadian Tire, but I'm calling it the Daytona Road Course for a reason. Um, you know, since NASCAR Heat 5 doesn't have the Daytona Road Course, so that's why I call it the Daytona Road Course. I know it's Canadian Tire, like I said, but I'm just going to call it Daytona Road Course for a reason. And I could have put the Daytona in National Speedway, but I didn't want to run a play track in, so I just decided to put that in there because I want to run the Road Course race, so why not? But anyway, um... Race 2 at 36 in the 2021 season. I'm going to Daytona National Speedway to Daytona Road Course for the running of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 253 at Daytona. So last Saturday's race was at Daytona, the, the Daytona 500. Um, honestly, as I, as you saw in the, um, in the recap video, it was a good race and all. Um, I had some struggles in that race, honestly. Like, I was all over the place and I was wrecking people. I don't know why, but it just happened. But... I ended up winning the race. It was honestly a good race at the end, but I held off Josh Berlicki, got the win, and of course you had that last lap crash with five Corey LaJoy and Chris Busher, but I got the win. That's how I start out the season, so that's really, really good. So we go on to this race, and you know, real course has just been a problem in this game. I don't know how this is going to play out. I hope it plays out well, but we'll just have to see what happens. And as you can see, um, I'm going to be driving Jimmy Johnson's rally car. Uh, then again, um, I decided to take the 48 card because one, Jimmy Johnson's not retired, and two, I didn't want to drive my custom car. I could have took the 88, but I wanted to take the 48 car. But um, yeah, so without further ado, we'll just get right onto this race. But before I do that, I will show you the settings and we'll get ready to go racing. Settings, same as usual for this season. Um, and just like for my other seasons, um, of course, Relax Shell is on because we're going to a road course, so that's what the settings are like. Uh, Multi-race stage will be on, quick qualify, and of course that's off because we're not on a restricted play track. I only turn that on for Daytona and Talladega, which in this case, since we're going to a road course, I'm going to have that on disabled. So other than that, settings are pretty much still the same as what I would have in a normal season. So point standings going into the Daytona Road Course. I know it's this Canadian Tire, but I'm calling it the Daytona Road Course because, you know, since um, Heat 5 doesn't have that. But anyway, um, so there's the point standings. So pretty much almost results is the Daytona 500. Uh, I got a, um, I so far lead the points because of my win last race at Daytona. And I also won a stage. I won stage 2 that last race. And Ricky Stenhouse won stage 1. So the uh, results is pretty much the um, Daytona results. Uh, but, of course, after this race, it's going to be all mixed up. And all that um, in you know going forward to the season but if the playoffs were to start today Ricky Stenhouse would be in that last playoff spot he and Austin Dillon are tied in points but it would actually be Ricky Stenhouse in the playoffs because of his um, stage points and of course Austin Dillon doesn't have any yet and of course Ricky Stenhouse won the stage but then yeah we still got a long season ahead playoffs ain't starting until like September and we're only in February so we got a long way ahead so anything can happen all right, so I just got done with qualifying. So here's the starting lineup for this race. And Stenhouse is on the pole. What is this? Ricky Stenhouse is on the pole. All right, I'll take that. It looks like Kurt Busch will also be on the front row. Um, Daniel Suarez is fourth. Ty Dillon, seventh. And then Austin Dillon rounds up your top ten. Um, Bubba Wallace is eleventh. Noah Gregson, twelfth. And again, I know I'm saying the driver's incorrect, but like I said, if you're tuning in, I'm just imagining they're 2021 since there's no 2021 in NASCAR Heat 5, so that's why, in case you're wondering. Um, let's see. Uh, Corey LaJoy, 14th. It looks like Alex Bowman rounds up your top 20. Uh, Chris Buescher, 21st. 
Uh, runner up Daytona 500, um, Josh Palicki is 23rd. And then I qualify 28th because I spun out right past that corner right there. Absolutely ridiculous why I get loose so much in these um, corners. But I start 28th in this race. Christopher Bell 29. Matt's about dead runs after top 30. And Brad Kislowski is 35th. That's weird. And a Cal Sproul rounds up your field. All right, time to go racing here at the Daytona Road Course. Uh, Ricky Senos is on the pole. And looks like Chris Buescher was the one that fell, um, um, that's going to the back. He crashed during qualifying. And a Ross Chastain fell off the standing station, so he's going to the back as well. And so that means I'm going up to 27th now. So we'll have to see how this race plays out. All right, race two of the season here at the Daytona National Speedway Road Course, and we're underway here at the Daytona Road Course. All clear, no pressure from behind. It's gonna be five laps in stage number one. All clear. Really close to hand that wall. Of course, I'm gonna get loose a lot. Oh, Alfredo, all right. I tried to pass right there. It just didn't work out. And if you're just tuning into the season, um, no jump cuts. So, enjoy that. So, yeah, no jump cuts. So, this should be a nice season. Whoa, what is this up here? They are three wide. This is like a Daytona race right here. They're going three wide, four wide, five wide. That's crazy. Hey, it's, it's like all over the place. It's three wide. But I'm gaining up spots, so I'm moving somewhere so far. I'm liking how this race is playing out. But then, yeah, we still got a couple stages. We still got a long race ahead, so I don't want to get too cocky. Oh, trouble already. Ryan Blaney. And I just made some contact. Kyle Larson came up into me. He had nowhere to go. Ryan Blaney already has troubles on the very first lap. And there is no cautions because I have it under lap. So this is what happened with Ryan Blaney. Watch real, really, really, really close. Watch that yellow and blue car, Ryan Blaney, right here when I go slow motion. Oh, you know what? I was just about to say, too, that he was loose. But actually, he made some contact with Kevin Harvick. Watch real closely as I rewind this. Watch Blaney in the yellow and blue car. Actually, he was three wide with Kevin Harvick and Bubble Wallace up there. But watch really, really closely. Boom, right there. I wish I could get a closer look at that. But, yeah, you could tell. I could tell up there that he made some contact with Kevin Harvick. And that's what caused um, those two to go around and have a problem. I wish I could get closer at that. And then right there, Blaney just lands right into Kyle Larson. And I just had nowhere to go on that one. Oh, here's the best... Okay, see, watch Blaney right here. Blaney tries to, you know, make a move on Harvick. And then, boom, right there. Makes contact with Kevin Harvick. And that just caused Blaney to go around. I mean, I was all Blaney right there because he's sending in a Harvick. And then Harvick just had nowhere to go. And then that just caused me and Kyle Larson to get collected in that too. But we kept it green. Nothing happened. No caution. Well, we do complete the first lap, but Ricky Stenhouse leads the first lap. I'm up to 16th. Boy, the joy is still running up there. And right in front of him is um, Chase Briscoe. Yep, getting loose again. So annoying. I just got done filming another... Um, I just got done filming my other season racing at the Roval. And that was just rage. You'll see in my video. Oh, by the way, too, I, I forgot to mention this in the intro. Um, if you didn't... Check out the Daytona 500 last Saturday. Go ahead and check out that video. That was a good race. Even though I was all over the place there. All right, Bill Hoppin. Trying to get around Chase Briscoe. This is for 14. Briscoe's trying to get around Bubba Wallace. All right, up to 13. Suarez is dropping back spots. I'm still moving up spots. I've already found my way until 11. Alright, so Blaney is still on track. I don't see him down pit road, so I wonder what happened to Blaney. 
I must have got forced off the tracker, son, but I overdrove that corner. It's not what I need to do. Now Suarez is to my inside. All right, three laps to go in the stage. Not sure if guys are going to pit or not. I'm going to stay out. Because, you know, I want to get some stage points. You know, I'm not locked into the playoffs. That doesn't mean that I can try to go ahead and try to get some stage points. Stage points is definitely going to help me out in the playoffs. So that's what I'm going to mostly do this season is try to get some stage points. Truex in the grass. Lower Gregson in the top ten. How about that? Stenhouse is already pulling away. That's something. But I'm up the tenth. I got around Truex. So now I'm in a spot where I can go ahead and try to get some stage points. Oh, Gregson trying to get around Kurt Busch. How about that? Oh man, that's the second lap in the row where I overdrove that corner. Please, let's not do that, please. All clear, all clear, no pressure from behind. My goodness, my head is itching for like a while now. Luckily, that's all better. All right, so two laps to go on the stage. I'm a way wide and now I'm a roll up but I, need to, but I got a huge run to try to get that 10th spot right back and there we go yeah I'm going to try to take it nice and easy in the corner so you know I don't get loose and spin out sorry Kurt I'm trying to pass by him I'm going to run in the back of him I do get up to ninth. Amarillo is going to take that spot from Kurt as well. I don't know where Gregson is. He can earn, earn himself some stage points. What a run, good run for Noah Gregson so far. Ty Dillon's also up here as well. He's right now running at seventh. But we are coming to the final lap of stage number one this time around. So far, Ricky Stenhouse has led every lap. Alright, so final lap of stage one here at the Daytona Road Course. Um, Stenhouse is still leading. I'm right now running a ninth after starting 28th A's because I spun out during qualifying. I always drove that corner again, but I'm gonna get a huge run and I didn't need to shift like that. What a good battle for um, a ninth spot. Now Noah Gregson is trying to get around Ty Dillon for 7. Okay, feels running low, but I'll be alright. Senos definitely has his stage in the back, so... That's the second week in a row he's going to win stage 1. That's going to be Senos' second stage win this season. But I got around Ty Dillon for 8, so that's another stage point I can gain right there. That's more points. I could have a shot to get around Noah Gregson to get seven, but that's all I'm gonna be able to get. Side by side. Clear all around. And I'm gonna take seventh away from Noah Gregson. There we go. So Ricky Stenhouse is gonna win stage one. And I'm gonna finish this stage in seven. So not too bad of a stage. I moved up from 27th to seventh, so I moved out 20 spots and I gained four points, so. Good start to stage one. Love that. So it's going to be Ricky Stenhouse, Ryan Newman, Joy Logano, Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, me, Noah Gregson, Eric Gamarola, and Ty Dillon rounding up the top ten. All right, I'm going to pit four tires and fuel. Make some adjustments on this car. The car handling is fine, but I just want to make sure the car is at where it needs to be. Okay, there we go. Let's see what's going on back there. Not much. Um, Brad's in the back in 33rd. Ouch. 
Okay, I dropped that a couple spots. I did take some of that damage, but I'll be all right. Coming to the green, driver. All right, stage two bots got underway. Ricky Senow still your race leader. And we're underway in stage two here at the Daytona Road Course. Five to go, driver. AK Canadian Tire. And it's going to be five laps in this stage as well. No one's going to take the race lead from Stenhouse. All loose. Yeah, Newman takes the lead away from Stenhouse. They get a three wide on Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Stenhouse is trying to fight back with Newman. It's a weird battle for the lead. And they got Chase Elliott Logano running third and fourth, just letting Newman and Stenhouse do their thing. I just ran right in the back of my teammate. Sorry, Chase. Hang on to it. And he's wrecked. Oh, that sucks. Well, I mean, to be fair, too, the AI is... It breaks us so much. It's like, not sure, like... You know... I don't expect them to break that much going into that corner. I, I got 95% arrow. Oh, I overdrove it. Oh, I'm a row. I barely touched you. Okay, I'm fine. I'm in fourth. Oh, Logano, I barely touched you. I meant to go down the check second here, but I never did that. I'm glad Logano and Amarillo saved that. Because, um... You know, I barely touch him and I just go spinning. I just get so annoying that you barely touch somebody and they just spin out. Honestly, I just fixed that damage from nothing, but it's all right. I'll fix it again at, um, after the stage. So, a brand new thing I have on my channel, as you can see at the bottom right of the screen, I have the next tracks on there at the bottom of the screen, the bottom right of the screen. So, next Saturday, we're actually going to be going to Homestead Miami Speedway. So, we're still going to be in Florida, but this time we're going to be going to Homestead Miami Speedway. So, that's going to be next Saturday at 8 o'clock, just like always with the 2021 season. So... You want to tune in for that which that race i should probably um probably have a good race there at homestead and i'll probably show that about one or two times um the reminder of when um the next track will be and all that but like, i don't just hit the grass All right, so three laps to go in stage number two. This Ricky Senhouse is still your race leader, and I'm running in fourth place. On the road, just got about a true wreck. I think Mark Chick, you just messed up that corner back there. Okay, if I go up to fourth here, I feel like it helps the car if not spinning out. So I might have to start doing that going forward in that corner. Get the grass, and I'm all right. I just like this car right here. This, um, Jimmy Johnson's red light car is just really, really nice. I'm going to drive the signature car one race, too. And I keep overdriving that corner. I have to stop doing that. Oh, contact of me and Amaroa. Remember last week at stage two, me and Amaroa had a problem. I wrecked Amaroa last week. Now it's deja vu all over again for us two. But yeah, I'm going to drive the signature car one day. It's, it's just still really, really cool. I got my name on Jimmy Johnson's car, which is my favorite driver. Out of all drivers I have my name on is this guy right here, Jimmy Johnson's car. And I am just still disbelieved from this day that my name is on his car. It, that is just That was just pretty freaking awesome that my name is on Jimmy Johnson's car. I wish we had a better result, but you know what? I was still happy that my name is on the car. Like... You, re you rarely get those opportunities of getting your names on the car. So, you know what? Uh, I appreciate that my name is on the car. I would still been happy, too, if my name was on other drivers' car, too. But to have my name on my favorite driver's car was just freaking amazing. So, that's why I'm probably going to run that scheme a lot. Because that is just, you know, really, really cool to have my name on um, this car. Oh, here we go. That's what happened to me in qualifying. So this time I saved it. 
Huh. I said this so many times and I'm gonna say it again. Getting loose in the corner is so annoying. Wheel hopping on rope courses is so annoying. I'm honestly getting sick and tired of it. I said this a lot in the um, robo race I filmed earlier. But yeah, you just can't drive rope courses without wrecking. It's just so annoying. It's just so bad. Uh, we're on the final lap of stage two. And I think Sudhouse is going to win stage two. That's just how fast he is. Oh, Amarola and I making contact again. Hey, well, what's the deal with me and Amarola making contact in stage two? I have no idea. That's happened now two weeks in a row. And Stenhouse is going to have more um, stage wins than anybody. That's going to be crazy. And I just lost fifth. I just, I mean, fourth. I overdrove that corner. Oh, I'm in the grass. I'm in the grass. I'm in the grass. Well, there's no way I'm getting fourth back now. That time was my fault. Nah, no, we're fine. Alright, I guess I'd lost fourth. I guess I'll take fifth in the stage. As long as I don't mess up these last couple of corners. Stenhouse is going to win our stage. He's going to have his third stage win this season. That's crazy. And I only have one stage win so far this season. Other than that, no one else has won yet won a stage. Other than me and Stenhouse. All right, so we're coming down to the last couple of corners. And Ricky Stenhouse is going to take stage number two. As I'm going to come off the final corner, and I'm going to finish fifth. So seventh in stage two, fifth. Seventh in stage one, fifth in stage two. Not too bad. I got a couple of points. And Ricky Stenhouse won both stages. That's crazy. And then Newman is second. So Ricky Stenhouse, Ryan Newman, Joy Legano, Eric Amarillo, me, Denny Hamill, Martin Trickshire, Kyle Bush, Ryan Blaney, and Bubba Wallace rounds up your top ten. That's something right there. Ty Dillon lost a couple of spots. Same as Suarez. I'm going to pit, change tires, tighten up the car a little bit more. I just want to make sure it doesn't get loose going into the corners. Which I got to feel like it's still going to happen. But we're going to restart six laps to go. As you know, we might be starting eight laps ago, so this ought to be really, really interesting. No caution so far to the, um, the stages. But the final stage about to get underway. And we're underway in stage number three here at the Daytona Road Course. As we have eight laps to go. Oh, we got another good start. He's going to have the lead. Wow, I just went way, way off course. That's going to cost me several spots. I just went from 5th to ninth. All clear, no pressure from behind. Laney's working his way back up here. He spun out in the first, very first lap. All right. Oh boy, I'm loose. I try not to run the back of these guys going up this corner. All right, I worked my way back up to 6th. Newman's leading. You got room. You're clear. All right, up to fifth. It'd be something if Newman or Stenhouse won this race. That'd be crazy. And then you got Hamlin in third. Oh, look at him. I'm sorry. Oh wow, Amarillo making a three wide. And I barely touched Amarillo. I'm glad he saved that. Hey, well, me and I'm a roll on this race. I don't know. Taking contact and contact. I'm a roll is probably gonna have a talk to me out once this race gets done and over with. Tim and I make contact a lot. A little bit loose, but that's okay. I've laying a couple other, a couple others behind me, and I'm still loose. I don't want to be loose. Senna's trying to take the lead back from Ryan Newman. Fortunately, it failed right there. I thought I heard a car wrecking from behind. I heard like a scratching noise. I might be just hearing things, but maybe it's just my car. But I thought someone was wrecking from behind.
Starting to catch up to Logano. See if I can try to take that fourth spot. Can't quite get there. Logano's gonna maintain fourth place. All right, so six laps to go. We definitely gotta pit one more time for this race gets done and over with. And then yeah, we still got a little bit of ways to go. So this race is not far from done yet, even though we have six laps to go. And then once again, um, next race, next Saturday night, it's gonna be at Homestead Miami Speedway for the Dixie Boca 400. So be sure to tune in for that. That should be a really interesting race. But that should be all the run good at Homestead. I'm not 100% sure though. Well, I know for sure I'll probably be in the top 10. A win is what I meant to say. Definitely gonna be a little bit questionable. I know the AIs are definitely um, competitive at Homestead. So we'll just have to see what happens. So next Saturday night, Homestead Miami Speedway race 3 of 36. So be sure to tune in for that. But we still gotta focus on this race. We have to make one more pit stop. Senhouse just took the lead back from Newman. Senhouse, I think, is gonna win unless something crazy happens, like if um, pit stops messes everything up or something. Oh, car, please don't do that. We're at the end of the race. I don't need to spin out. And what I especially don't need is to get a DNF. So far, all 40 cars are still in this race. That's something right there. We got five laps to go here at the Daytona Road Course. Oh, I'm gonna overdrive that corner again. That's gonna cost me some time. McDonald, and that's gonna allow Amarillo to gain on me just a little bit. Not good for me. Can't be making mistakes like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Loose again. And I'm about to wheel hop. I don't need that. Like I said, I spun out like that in qualifying. That's what cost me to qualify 28th. And now me and Amarillo is going to battle once again. Jeez. So far, Stenhouse is leading still. Newman second, Denny Hamlin third, Logano fourth, and then I round up the top five. And I keep over driving that corner. That's one of my worst corners so far today. I don't know why. All right, four laps to go in the Daytona Road Course. So far, so good. That time I got to that corner perfectly. Definitely gonna gain on a Logano right here. Amarillo is still keeping up with me. Cups on him for that. Why am I real hopping right there? Get low on gas. Get low on gas. All right, I am low on gas, so I won't pit this time by, but I'll probably pit next time by. And by the way, I'm going to go fuel only. I'm good on tires. I'm going to go fuel, gas only. Honestly, I might pit this time by, maybe. I feel like the AI is going to stay out of lap. So I'll probably pit this time by. All right, these guys are pink. So yeah, I will pit this time by. And I did some practice runs on my pit entry. Yeah, everyone's pitting. Watch your speed, please. You're almost out of gas. All right, we're fine. All right, so I'll go no tires. We're not gonna fix the damage. Got four laps to go, so I'll put like a can in there just to be on the safe side. So I'll go, we'll go as flash and go only, and we'll be right back out in the way. Wow, Stenhouse took tires. His Hamlin Logano got ahead. Oh, caution. Wow, that changes everything too. We got a caution. I mean, some guys are going to have to pit. What happened? Uh, honestly, I have no clue what happened. 
Chase Briscoe maybe because he's running dead last. Could be for Eric Jones. But I don't know, but that changes everything. And that means we're going overtime. Uh, Senhouse is going to be in second. Hamlin's going to be the race leader. I'm going to be up in third. All right, so here we go. NASCAR overtime. Green, white, checkered. And the green flag is back in the air. And I try to go ahead and try to get my second win of the season. I'm in the grass. I'm in really aggressive. And Stenhouse just got around Hamlin. Oh, wow. I really overdrove right there. All right, up to second. Trying to see if I can go chase down Stenhouse. Kyle Busch is trying to get by me. That's not going to happen. Uh, Senos has just been really, really fast. I'll give him preps for that. I gained a lot of ground on him. Oh, yeah, I definitely got a good corner right here. Oh, man, I got a chance at Senos right here. That's going to be good, too, if I can start the season with two wins. I didn't even lead a lap at all today. I only led one, well, I don't know any laps. Oh! I'm sorry, Stenhouse. I just overdrove. Oh, I'm loose now. Wow, I feel bad for Stenhouse right there. I am sorry, Stenhouse. Well, we're on the final lap, and I just cost Stenhouse. I am so sorry, Stenhouse. I just overdrove turn number, I just overdrove the corner. I feel bad now for Senhouse. Me and him are gonna have a good battle. But man, I feel bad. And he's down pit road, that sucks, dude. I honestly feel bad for Stenhouse. He was dominating this race and I just cost him. Oh, and I overdrove in the drive in the corner. I don't need that. All right, so we're halfway to the track. But I still got company, so I'm still going to have to put up a fight. Oh, wheel hopping. I don't need wheel hopping. All clear. Kyle Busch still right there. Will I try to hang on and get my second straight win to start the season? But honestly, too, if I win, I honestly don't deserve it because I just cost Stenhouse this race. I feel bad. He was dominating this race, and I just messed him up. Tires are going down. Kyle Busch is right there. I gotta get these corners perfectly. Can I get to the final corner? And I do. So off the final corner, I'm gonna start the season with two straight wins as I take the win here at Canadian Tire. Honestly, I don't deserve this win because I just fly out just dumb Stenhouse. Honestly, that was unintentional. Me and him are just racing really, really hard. And I just overdrove the corner. So that's 100% my fault there. I can't blame anyone else there but myself, but I am really, really sorry for Stenhouse on that. Honestly, in real life, he'd be coming to my trailer, but honestly, me and him is just racing hard. I feel bad on that. And this car just blew up. I'll just park it right here. All right, so here's the incident at the final corner with me and Ricky Stenhouse coming in two laps to go. So, you know, I'm getting up from Ricky Stenhouse, and then boom, right there, I overdrove the corner. I almost go off course, and then Stenhouse just went around, like, that's just too bad for Stenhouse, because he was doing this well. And even I'm on the bumper cam right here, watch this. I get a good run on Stenhouse. Honestly, I wanted to wait patiently and try not to pass him in that corner. I wanted to wait a couple corners, get up to the last corner to try to pass Stenhouse because, you know, I wanted to be patient and I didn't want to force myself to make a mistake. But, unfortunately, I did by running right into the back of Stenhouse and then right there. And I hit him so hard that Stenhouse couldn't control that car and he ended up spinning. And he picked up heavy damage from that wreck. Here's a look again from the... Okay, I don't know what kind of camera angle that is. Oh yeah, look at that, boom, right there, just one slight mistake, oh hang on, okay, here it is again, boom, right there, 
one slight mistake, I caused that house to go wrecking, and then I just continue on, which honestly, that just sucks for stunt house. I didn't deserve this win, but it, I'll take the win still, but honestly, I was just way too aggressive, my fault, my part there. So there's the race results here at the uh, Daytona Road Course or Canadian Tire. Um, I get the win here at the uh, Daytona Road Course, so that's my second win in a row. So I started off the season with two wins, so I am definitely good to go to make it to the playoffs now. So I can still go for more wins even though I'm still locked into the playoffs. And then you got um, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Ryan Newman, Martin Trixier, Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, and Corey LaJoy rounds up the top ten. That's something. And no breaks at 11. Josh Malicki, 13th. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Tyler Reddick, 17th. David Reagan, 19th. Daniel Suarez rounds up your top 20. He was running good at one point. And he fell back that many spots. Almirola cost himself by staying out. There's some guys that cost themselves by staying out. I came in at the right time, so I made a good pick call right there. Uh, Bubba Wall is 25th. Brad Keselowski got 26th. Bowman 28th. Ty Dillon 29th. And then Quinn Howell rounds up the top 30. And then Byron 31st. Uh, Matt Fadell 35th. Ross Chastain 36th. Yeah, there's Stenhouse all the way back in 39th. He was dominating most of that race. And he won stages 1 and stages 2. And unfortunately, I just wrecked him right there. Like I said, it was unintentional. We were just battling hard. But I just overdrove the corner right there. And honestly, I just feel bad for Stenhouse. And it Chase Briscoe rounds up the field in last place, finishing six laps down. So I'm definitely going to extend my um, points lead. Corey, I mean, um, Josh Berlicki, not 2020, 2021. Josh Berlicki is right now still second in points. But he'll end up losing that spot eventually. Uh, Noah Gregson is fifth in points. Um, Stenhouse is still looking in the playoffs, so he'll, the good thing is he, did, he definitely gained some points, but he could have had a playoff spot if I didn't do that, which sucks. But, um, Joey Case is actually in that last playoff spot, but, like I said, long season ahead, we're only in February, we got till September until the playoffs start, so we still have a long way ahead, but Joey Case would, would it be in that last playoff spot by a couple points ahead of Ryan Blaney, that's how the um, points would be like if the playoffs were to start today. And I'm in victory lane for the second time this season. The first two races I start with wins. Won the Daytona 500 last race, and I won the Daytona Road Course. So I basically swept Daytona. Yes. Winner. Honestly, like I said, I don't deserve it for wrecking Stenhouse by mistake, which is unintentional, but I'll take the win. I'll take it. Yeah, see, look at this. Stenhouse had the fast lap of the race. And look at that. He led the most laps in that race. Led 18 laps. Um, and I feel like I definitely got on the move. Yeah, from 27th to the win. And a tough break is going to be for Stenhouse. Yeah, starting on pole, finished 39 because I intentionally, well, I, um, made a mistake and overdrove the corner and wreck him. So that's my fault right there. I am so sorry, Ricky Stenhouse. Winner at the Daytona Road Course. Honestly, like I said, I didn't deserve that win, honestly, because, you know, I know I keep saying that, but I just didn't deserve it after, um, what I did to Stenhouse. I don't like winning races like that. I like winning races nice and clean, but that was just a racing incident. You know, we were just racing hard, and, you know, like I said, I just overdrove it, and I just took out Stenhouse, and I took out um, Stenhouse's race, too. He was dominating that race. I feel bad for Stenhouse on that, unfortunately, but it is what it is, but I'll, stay to, I'll still take the win now. I start the season with two wins, but like I said, I don't like winning races like that. I don't like winning races like that. I like to have them nice and clean. It's just like, you know, like I said, just one mistake and that happens. But it is what it is. But next Saturday, guys, next week, I'm going to Homestead Miami Speedway, race 3 of 36. And it's going to be for the running of the Dixie Volca 400. So, yeah, so final race of the three-race Florida string, too. Because, you know, the Daytona 500 first race and the Daytona Road Course. And now we're going here in Homestead Miami Speedway. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And also, I'll turn on post notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video or when I do go live. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on my social medias as well, too. Um, follow me on Twitter and then join the Discord if you want to. Um, it's lit. But, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next Saturday night when we go to Homestead Miami Speedway. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.